camera. I just want to have a word to you, have a talk to you. I, an hour or so ago, I received a phone call from a long-time supporter of Jeremy's. Uh, and she said that, uh, I forget what she said, 5AA are uh, either looking for an afternoon presenter or will be looking for an afternoon presenter. And she suggested that, uh, that I put the word out to uh, his followers on the Facebook post. And uh, we're not sure how many there is, but it's a few thousand. Um, Jeremy does not know that I'm doing this. In fact, he won't know until he sees it in the morning. And uh, I've been a long time friend, 35 years or more. Uh, he would never ask me to do this, and I hope he will forgive me. And he will certainly, would certainly not ask you to do what I'm going to ask you to do. The question is, do you, would you like to see Jeremy, or hear Jeremy rather, back on radio? I know a lot of people would. So, uh, this, this, uh, the lady that phoned in suggested that uh, people phone, or better still, write into 5AA and say, how about it? Uh, they, they could certainly use him. So, uh, if you are a supporter, if you do want him back on radio, give it some thought. Give 5AA a ring, or better still, write them a letter, or we'll do both. But I just want to say, uh, I met Jeremy 35 years ago, give or take, when I was singing at his restaurant. I didn't know he owned the restaurant back then, Decker's, Decker's restaurant. I was singing, and uh, he walked in, and I got a little bit nervous, to tell you the truth. But uh, during uh, my break, I put on some recorded music, and one of the tracks was a Gordon Lightfoot song. And Jeremy came up and he said, is that a new Gordon Lightfoot track? I said, yeah, yeah he's still recording. Uh, I said, look, there's a lot of stuff coming out of America now that's not getting played on radio, so uh, I'd like to introduce you to some. So from that, I would go into the, st the studio and we'd play a song. And we became friends and uh, here we are. So, as I say, I hope you'll forgive me. But uh, what was done, now Jeremy signed a confidentiality agreement, which is why he's never been able to talk about what happened and, and I'm not about to now, except to say that there's more of a story than what you've heard. Uh, the South Australian Broadcasting Authority, I don't know what their title is, what they're called, but they never received one complaint. In fact, they said, as far as they were concerned, Jeremy did nothing wrong, he was simply doing his job. Now, a presenter's job is to create interest, to generate listeners for the station, give interesting content, which can be controversial at times. I remember once when I walked into the studio, someone was tearing strips off of Jeremy. I said, well, how did you feel about that? He said, oh, no, that's good for radio. <laughs> there you go. We're talking about a man that's devoted most of his life to Adelaide Radio. When I walk around the garage where we do the recording, there are these photos everywhere. Where he's interviewing Bill Clinton and uh, well, Al McPherson, I was envious about that. Uh, the, the, the mayor of New York, Giuliano, something like that. Uh, he's interviewed, look, countless, countless people. Um, and there are the photos, and I, I look at them and I think, what, a, what an extraordinary life this man's had. But then when you realise that uh, he went over to New York to collect an award, which I believe was for the top talkback um, presenter in the world, I think. I mean, don't quote me on that. But we are talking about an amazing talent. 
I'm not going to go on anymore. And, uh, I've said enough. I've said all I can, really. But honestly, if you do, if you do feel that he should be back on radio, you know, get, in, get in touch with Five Double Lane. Let him know what you think. Okay. And depending how Jeremy reacts to this, I'll still be recording his posts next week. Okay. Bye.